Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nick with Indie Oogle, and today I will be showing you how to use the basic user interface for GameMaker 8.0 Pro. I'm going to split this up into multiple parts to cut down on length and uh, make it a little bit more simple for you. So this will only be showing you the necessities you will need to create your very first game. So first thing that you're going to need are some graphics. Graphics are very important for a game, obviously. So sprites, that is where your graphics are. So you can right click it and pick create sprite or you can click this little button here, a uh, little red Pac-Man, and uh, it'll do the exact same thing except you won't have to right click so it's quicker. And you have this box here then, and you can pick Load Sprite, Save Sprite, or Edit Sprite. If you pick Load Sprite, then it'll bring up a wide selection that GameMaker has already for you to use in your games. It's very handy if you are not very good at creating graphics or you can create your own with Edit Sprite. Once you pick Edit Sprite, then um, this box will pop up. And to get started, click this little blank sheet of paper to create a new Sprite. And um, set your attributes, I'll go with 32 by 32. And then double click this little box here. Now you are in the uh, Sprite Editor. Here you can draw your uh, graphics, you know, do whatever you want to do. I'll just go with the ball for right now. And um, click the check mark uh, you know, up here to get out of that. Now you can create sub images. Sub images are for animation and stuff like that. So how you create a sub image is uh, there's a few ways. If you want a sub image to be before this one, then click this one, uh, this button right here, insert an image, uh, empty image before the current one. And as you can see, it's uh, animated it over here. You can uh, check this on and off, you know. Or you can click this to create an empty image after it. So that's pretty useful there if you want to keep redrawing the graphic over and over again. Or you can click this and then click this little button to copy it and then paste. And then you have the image again and you can just go into this one and do whatever it is that you wanted to do to animate it. So you have it over here, you know, but let's not go into animation right now. Click OK and you can name your sprite and name it something like SPR underscore ball. You can name it whatever you want but uh, I'll go with that. Now to move on to sounds. You can add sounds the same way you do with sprites. You can right click or you can go up here and press this little button. But let's do it this way and load a sound. Now GameMaker also comes with sounds and even backgrounds that you can use in your games. So let's just pick something here. Applause. And you can play it or stop it. A uh, bunch of settings here that we won't go in depth on right now. Just name it something. Uh, sound 1. Okay, you have your sound. Now go to backgrounds. Same way, creating it the same way. You can load a background here that they have. Maybe um, metal dark. Let's go with that and name it whatever it is that you want you know it can be anything background one metal whatever okay now let's skip paths scripts uh, fonts and timelines for right now we'll get into that in a later tutorial so right click objects and create a new one now this is where you program your actual uh, actually program the game so an object is something that holds the uh, scripting and the sprites are the graphics so mm -hmm. take the object and add in a sprite by clicking this little button here and then choosing the sprite that you want you can see it's added it over here and you can name this uh, obj underscore ball for instance uh, got out of it, don't need to uh, you can 
change its visibility. Check this for invis uh, uncheck it for invisible or check it for visible. Now solid. This is basically used for blocks that you can't walk through, maybe uh, ground or anything like that. But for a character, you usually leave it unchecked. Okay, so um, there's more to this part here, but I'll there's a lot to it, so I will explain that later on. So just click OK. And right click rooms. Rooms are your level. This is where you edit it and uh, add in your player, enemies, uh, obstacles, anything like that. And there's a lot to this. Uh, possibly something that takes more time to describe uh, in detail than anything else other than objects and programming. But uh, you can click this little gray area over here to choose your objects. So click whatever it is that you want and you can place it anywhere in the room. You can even create multiple ones. You can you place them with the left mouse button and you can delete them with the right mouse button. So just place it wherever it is that you want, you know, say right there, that's good enough. <clears throat> and then you can uh, go to backgrounds and uh, click this little button here and add in the background that you created earlier or just loaded, you know, anything. And you can even name, all. you can also name all these things by clicking once and once it's highlighted, clicking one more time. You don't want to click quickly because it'll just open it like that you know so just name this whatever uh, room one for instance and then you can go to save here to save your game just uh, save it just, uh, got a folder name that so example maybe and your game has been saved and you can load whatever uh, a game with this button you can also create an executable what these are for is the way I have it saved right now, the way I saved it, it's uh, saved as a GameMaker file. So when you open that file, it'll open GameMaker and have everything that you've done in this already there. So it's good for examples. People can review what you've done, your uh, coding and everything. But if you just want to share the game with your friends and uh, not allow anybody to see your coding, then create an executable you know like this and just save it and it'll uh, it takes a little bit but it'll create an executable for you and then you can double click it and it'll just open it right up you know and um, that's about it you can also uh, run your game with this little green arrow just click that and it'll start it up it takes a little bit of time uh, with this newer version especially <clears throat> And you have your game here. And you can't actually do anything because, you know, you haven't created any of the actions so far. You can hit escape to get out of that, by the way. But uh, that's pretty much it. In a later tutorial, I will explain some more things about, like, uh, information and uh, this here for your global game settings. I'll explain that. I'll also go into paths, scripts, fonts, and timelines. And I will also tell you about actions. But there's a lot to this, so I'm going to be splitting it up into parts, like I've said earlier. So that's about it. I hope you understand exactly the basic interface of GameMaker and be able to create some things here. Obviously, you Unless you have used GameMaker before, you have somebody to tell you, you won't be able to actually make anything do anything right now. But I will explain that very soon. Um, so, hope you are looking forward to the next tutorial, and I'll see you then.